Good morning and and happy Thursday to you. Today we're going to be finishing the 119th Psalm. We're going to be looking at verses 161 all the way through 176. Uh, We're going to be covering the last two letters in the Hebrew alphabet. Uh, We're going to be looking at Shin and Tav. And so uh, you'll remember as we go through our, our reading, we've highlighted over and over again uh, the, the cause for this writing. You have a young man uh, praying to God for faithfulness in a time of trial in the midst of a perverse generation. Uh, he is seeking to be faithful to the Lord. Uh, so read with me here. We're going to be looking in verses 161 through the end of the psalm. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word. As one who finds great spoil, I hate and despise falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous ordinances. Those who love your law have great peace, and nothing causes them to stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and your testimonies, for all my ways are before you. Let me cry, let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your word. Let my lips utter praise. For you teach me your statutes. Let my tongue sing of your word. For all your commandments are righteousness. Let your hand be ready to help me. For I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live, that it may praise you, and let your ordinances help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. So here we have the psalmist. Uh, He is praising God for God's faithfulness. He's rejoicing in God's word. Even though he's facing great persecution himself, He is entrusting himself entirely to the Lord. And in verse 164, he talks about how much he loves the Lord. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous ordinances. And one idea that comes through here that really I think it makes me really feel ashamed is how often do I praise God? How often do I meditate on God's righteousness? How often do I meditate on his word? Do I meditate on his word seven times a day to the point where I'm just overflowing with praise because I I can't keep it in? And, and, And really, the answer is I need to do better. I need to turn to God's law, turn to his word, meditate on it more, and really strive to to be more like the psalmist here drawing strength and encouragement from the god's word and hopefully we can get to the point where we can say some of the things that the psalmist has said here that i keep god's law i keep his word it's written on my heart i love it and i hope that as you as we meditate on his word more as we meditate on god's law we draw closer to him because the more we consider his word, the more that we, we think about uh, God's righteousness, God's love, God's mercy, God's truth, God's faithfulness, the more we should be, be striving to serve him. Again, as we consider his word, it should propel us to greater heights of service. It, it should pro- provoke us to deeper love and appreciation for his word. And... and I love how the psalmist closes this psalm. You know, throughout the psalm, we, we've seen him talk about his faithfulness, his love, his his love for God's word and, and his desire to serve him better. And and yet the psalmist, at the end of the, this psalm, he recognizes how much he needs God. He says, I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant. 
when all is said and done, we need God. We need his love. We need his mercy. We need his deliverance. And God eagerly seeks us. I hope that that brings you some comfort today. I hope that the things that we've studied this morning have been helpful to you. May God bless you as you go through your day.